King's Indian Defense, Bayonet, Sokolov Line, 10, F511.ng5 and F612.bf3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. c4 has control over the crucial d5 square. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. B2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. E5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nc6 develops the knight, defends the e5 pawn and attacks the d4 pawn. D5 takes space in the center, attacks the knight on c6 and controls the e6 square. NE7 retreats the knight to a square where it will help with the f7 f5 pawn push, after black moves the f6 knight. B4 takes space on the queen side and controls the c5 square. NH5 places the knight on the edge of the board where it controls the f4 square and allows the f pawn to move forward. 1 rupee activates the rook and opens up the f1 square. f5 attacks the pawn on e4 and gains space on the king side. Ng5 protects the e4 pawn and controls the e6 square. Nf6 avoids the peace exchange by retreating to a safe square, from where it also puts pressure on white's e4 pawn. Bf3 overprotects the e4 pawn. It is the last book move. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By attacking the enemy knight, this activates a piece while also buying time. That's good. It's alright. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Takes back. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. That falls flat. The queen is therefore moved to safety. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This protects the attacked pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. 
It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. Recaptures. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This wins material. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. That rook earns material if it is captured. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.